Okay guys, welcome to today's lesson in statics. Today we're covering uh, problem 21 from chapter 3. So number 21 says, a 200 pound force is applied as shown to the bracket ABC. Determine the moment of the force about A. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is write my equation out. I know the moment about A is equal to the position vector from A to where the force is being applied at point C crossed with the force at point C. Okay, so we need to find a few things first. We need to figure out what this position vector is from A to C. Then we need to break down force C into its components on the axis. Okay, so if I look at this diagram, notice I need to find the vector going from point A to point C. So we need to position vector here from R from A to C. Okay, so noticing this, it's first of all, there is no Z component of this position vector. It's all acting on, on the XY plane. So I'm going to figure out that my position vector from R from A to C will simply be the distance in the X axis, which is 60 millimeters. We're going to convert this into our base unit of 0.06 meters in the i hat direction and then going up in this vector when the y on the y axis going up a distance of 50 plus 25 which would make it 75 millimeters or 0 0.0075 meters in the j hat direction good now we can figure out what the components of force c are so force c if I were to analyze this as a, looking at it, it appears to have a Y component going down, and it looks like this is a Z component coming out of the page where this cosine of 60 degrees will be. Okay, good. So force C in the Y direction is going to be equal to negative, setting down, 200 newtons is the magnitude, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between this force and this axis, which is 30 degrees. Okay, now force C in the Z direction right here would similarly be 200 newtons times the cosine of its angle between it, its axis, which is 60 degrees. Okay, and this is a positive force in the z direction because it's coming out of the page. It's acting in a direction that's in the positive, along with the positive z axis coming out of the page. Good to know. Okay, so I'm a position vector here, have my forces, my force broken down into components here. We can now simply take this moment equation and convert it into our matrix and then take the determinant and discover what moment about point A actually is. Okay. So this would be simply broken down into components. It would have an I hat component. It would be 0 0.06 in the I hat. And then negative 200 cosine of 30. So negative 200 in you know, my calculator app. We have negative 200 cosine of 30, which is negative 173. Oops. <laughs> yes, negative 173. Yes, as I was saying, negative 173.2. And we have our j hat value. The position vector is 0 0.0075. And our force is 200 cosine of 60. Cosine of 60 is one half, but we'll go ahead and multiply it out. 200 times cosine of 60 would be just simply half of that 100 newtons. And again, there is no k hat component for the position vector, but there is one for the force, actually. So be careful about this. Notice I did made a mistake just now. Force in the y should be in the j hat column. So this should be the negative 173. Point two, and force in the Z should be in the K hat column in the 100. There is no component of the force acting in the I direction and all on the X axis. 
to this problem. Okay. So now we're going to simply rewrite the first two columns. We have our k hat here. We'll rewrite our i hat and j hat here. We have 0 0.06, 0 0.075. This is a 0, and this is again our negative 173.2. Okay, now we can evaluate this determinant for this matrix by adding, by multiplying, adding up, subtracting different diagonals. So I'm going to go down to the right, I'm going to add. So this would be 0 0.0575 times 100, move the decimal two places. This would be simply positive, we're adding 7.5 in the i hat direction. Good. Then we're going to also add, this would be a 0. And we'll add 0 0.06 times this negative 173.2 times k hat. So 0 0.06 times 173 times, maybe it's in the focus, 173.2 in the k hat direction. And we're going to subtract when we go up and to the right or down to the left. We'll subtract, this will be a zero. Subtract, this will be a zero as well. And we have a value here. Move this over two decimal places. This would be minus 6.0, 6.0 in the J hat direction. Good to know. So our moment about point A has Okay, and so to evaluate the determinant, we multiply and go down to the right and add, and then we go up and to the right and we subtract the products. So going down to the right in the first column, we have i hat times 0 0.075 times 100. So we move the decimal place over two places, we get positive 7.5 i hat. Next diagonal, we have 0. Next value, we have 0 0.06 times negative 173.2 in the k hat direction, illustrated here. Next, going up and to the right, we subtract, we have zero, so minus a zero. We have another zero in this product, so we have a zero. And we have 100 times 0 0.06, which would just become six. And so we're subtracting, so it's a negative six in the J hat direction. Multiplying these two values out, we have our final answer. The moment about point A is equal to positive 7.5 newton meters in the I hat direction negative 6 newton meters in the j-hat direction, and negative 10.39 newton meters in the k-hat direction. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.